Hi, I'm Dave Young from CryptoCoin.News. This is ICO Interviews, a chance to talk to founders and important people with upcoming ICOs. Today is a sponsored slot. We talk with David Palchitz from Robotina, who are launching the ROX token. Hello, David. How are you? Hi, good morning. I'm fine, thanks. What about you? Oh, it's pretty good here in Kiev. Uh, let's get down to business today. So, uh, can you give us a brief overview of your existing business before the ICO launch? Sure, of course. You know, uh, Robotina was established in 1990 as an industrial automation company. And since then, we have been uh, developing various control systems, both hardware and software. And we were serving, let's say, the automation in the industry, in the infrastructure, in the buildings, and in the industry, uh, and in the, the infrastructure. So we were, we are still, we are selling from Japan to South America, and about 25 countries, and we were mostly focused on the B2B business. Lately, in the last, uh, let's say, few years, uh, we are very, very focused on the energy efficiency, renewables, energy saving, and this type of project. Wow, that's fascinating. Can you briefly also describe what the launch of the ROX token and the platform will add to your existing business? Absolutely. You know, uh, as I said, we were uh, mostly B2B companies, so selling our services and products to the businesses. Now we decided that uh, in the knowing the, the uh, energy business from inside out, we know it is not possible to change it from top down. So we need and we decided to change, to influence this, to impact this business from bottom up. And if you want to do it from bottom up, you have to go from the customer side. So it's a B2C direction. So we decided to open our business to the B2C business model. And for this, we put the, there are the three necessary enabling technologies. If you talk about energy, one is IoT, as you very well know, Internet of Things. Second is artificial intelligence, so to take a good decision. And the third is the technology that would allow us to cooperate, not only us, but everybody in this platform. And this is in the blockchain. So we put the ROX token in the center of our platform, and this is what it will bring us. So it is necessary, that's first. Second, it will enhance cooperation. It will give the opportunity to the community to participate in the various business initiatives, and of course, to get rewarded for it. It brings transparency. It brings the cooperation, and it of course, opens a totally new model. Call it business model, call it cooperation model. Wow. Uh, other large ICOs in the last year in the power sector were Power Ledger and WePower. Uh, from my point of view, they were very different beasts. Okay, they're power, but they have different operating models. Can you, can you summarize for our, for our viewers what the main differences are between the offerings? Yeah, of course I can. I mean, uh, uh, we are not focusing uh, all the time on the analysis of the others. But uh, while, you, while, we, while we checked uh, how we can cooperate with, with, with everybody, we did some analysis. And of course, first of all, let's say if I compare with these two that you asked me to compare, first of all, we have to look at the companies themselves. You know, we are established in the 1990. Both of the companies you mentioned are relatively new. So 2016, 2017. We have invested uh, several um, millions in our business so far in, uh, in the capital. And of course, our core business, we are coming from the automation world. So we, we have our own hardware, our own software, and so on and so on. We have our own manufacturing plan. So uh, the, the other two uh, companies you mentioned, they are mostly software companies providing just the platform uh, we uh, we are in this ecosystem a little bit uh, positioned in different way, but now if you look at the maybe at the uh, models uh, how they approach this uh, this uh, potential market, uh, we have about six to seven different uh, revenue stream generators, different business models placed on this 
on the platform, and I will describe them a little bit later. Uh, the other two have a very clear, uh, mostly single business model, which goes from the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, energy cells or from the, uh, from the uh, let's say, uh, using the, the tokens uh, for, uh, let's say, future, future renewable energy uh, contributions. Uh, we provide the real benefits to the, to the end user, the real benefit in the form of energy saving, in the form of revenue stream, which is based on the data selling and on the other things that I will explain later. Okay, that's very interesting. Uh, yes, yeah, so you're more, you've actually got a lot more behind you. You've had a lot more pedigree in time. Now, you've had some very interesting uh, flagship partnerships across the time. Uh, would you like to tell us about the more interesting ones and what they've actually brought to the business? Sure. I, I think I can pick uh, probably three cases that will be interesting for you. Uh, one of our business partners is Hitachi from Japan. You know, Hitachi is one of the top 20 companies in the world in, in every uh, aspect, including the business, uh, the revenue, the, the innovation, the range of products. So uh, they have selected us as a partner who provided them the IoT technology and the uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence for their energy efficiency projects. And most interesting, uh, the projects that we have been working for them and with them are in Europe, in Germany and in different places in, uh, in Europe. Another partner that I can point out is uh, Microsoft. As you know, Microsoft is the giant in the world of IT, uh, but, uh, and now they are, they, you know, everybody in this IT world is moving into the so-called cloud business, you know? And in the cloud business, they need to provide some benefits to the users. And of course, the standard IT type of benefits is one, but the new benefits are, let's say, in the form of energy efficiency, in the form of internet of things, in the form of providing one-stop shop for the whole uh, resolution. So in this in this case, we are working with Microsoft in their in the energy efficiency and predictive maintenance uh, in the buildings, especially in the Middle East, but also in the other places in the world. The third one that I can uh, say it's uh, not one partner, but it's an interesting initiative. You know, we are member of the Horizon 2020 project that it's called GoFlex. Uh, this is a project led by IBM Ireland, and uh, there are about 13 partners participating, in which we will uh, show, in which the uh, rocks will take a part as one of the important things on the customer side. So this will show the complete vertical of the energy trading from the customers up to the last utility company. And uh, we are starting the, uh, the uh, physical deployment in uh, June this year, and it will be deployed in three cities in Europe in three different countries. So I think this can give you a little bit of uh, what are our partner, uh, current partnerships. Yes, that's very interesting. Uh, moving on. Why is the Robotina platform and the ROX token so necessary? For example, why didn't you just go for uh, a database-driven solution? Why do you need a decentralized answer? That's a very, very good question that uh, many people ask me. Uh, why uh, did you go uh, for this decentralized solution? I think that there are some obvious uh, buzzwords that I can use here, like uh, transparency, like... Uh, trust, uh, but I think it's even more, or maybe security, safety. Uh, so if you have a distributed solution, it's by definition more secure than the uh, centralized uh, solution. But I think that I should uh, maybe uh, say two more things. I think the really important thing is uh, when you go in this type of platform, you need a transparent way to to, do, to execute the transactions between the platform and the outside. And there is no other way than the blockchain. 
But if the most important thing is in the smart contracts. Uh, the most of our business or of the business on this platform, the, the, the most of the services on the platform will depend on the smart contracts. So in the predefined way for something to be executed. Plus, we open the marketplace on the platform, which, which means that the others, not only us, will be able to place their business initiatives on the platform. So it means that uh, they will be able to prepare the smart contract and access all the members of the platforms, all the users, and provide them some services. For this, we need the predefined algorithm and we need the clear and transparent smart contract. So there is no way to do this type of business without the blockchain. I would agree. Uh, you mentioned in the white paper that for the ROX token holders, there would be profit sharing. Could you elaborate a little bit more how income might be generated for the ROX token holders and, and the platform? Of course, uh, as I said, uh, uh, you know, we have about uh, six, seven ways which are already embedded, six, seven models for revenue generation for the community and for the ROX owners at the end of the day, uh, which is already built inside our platform or which we are building in our platform. And first of all, you know, are the, the, the direct benefits for the users and one is the savings so user uh, uh, you know we will deliver to the user a small piece of hardware called hems home energy management system this home energy management system will communicate to our cloud and will start exchanging the data once uh, a cloud learns enough about the user it can start optimizing his devices. So he will have savings. A little part of these savings will be used, uh, will be given back to the community and it will go into the rocks itself. Then the next one is group buying. This, uh, everybody who is buying uh, electricity from the utility companies will be able to part participate in the group buying or crowd buying and part of the benefits, so of the savings generated, will again be uh, be transferred to the community. Data, you know that data is the gold of the future, uh, and utility companies need the data to optimize their optimi uh, their, their their operations. So the data, will, uh, the community, the the platform will have enormous uh, database on how people behave, which can help. Uh, uh, the utility companies to improve the operations. We'll have the power cells. Uh, we will uh, open the ESCO crowdfunding uh, initiative. It means that, you know, uh, there are so many uh, good projects in the world which just needs to be founded uh, and the energy saving projects. So through the platform, uh, our users, uh, the ROCKS owners, will be able to crowdfund this project and part of the, uh, of the revenue will, of course, go back to the community. So I just described you some of the business models, but there is, as I said, there is the last one, meaning that uh, there will be a marketplace on the, uh, uh, on the platform itself to which others can participate. And this will generate the 9th, 10th, 11th, and other business models of which I'm not aware at this moment. Okay, there seems to be a lot of potential there. Now, obviously, we're in a bit of a bear market at the moment. I see a lot of uh, ICOs being launched. I see them hitting the exchanges maybe two weeks later. I, I see them the, the first prices coming in even less than the ICO prices, which must be quite distressing for those ICOs. Uh, have you been at all tempted in the current climate to postpone your ICO? Look, uh, everybody does the analysis of his uh, possibilities before launching an ICO and before going in any initiative. But I believe that uh, uh, we believe and we have already built our system 
and there is no reason to postpone the ICO. We believe that, uh, and you can see it, people recognize the importance of what we are doing. And uh, we, uh, you know, the, the, the energy business, the electrical energy business is approaching 4 trillion US dollars. So it is a good time now because why not to share the opportunities with the community right now? And I believe that the community recognizes this and will, will enjoy the, the benefits from our ICO. Okay, that's, that's uh, very sound reasoning, I would agree with you. So, uh, thank you very much for joining us on ICO interviews today. Uh, we wish you a good day. Thank you very much, David. Thank you very much to you and uh, good day to you and all the best. Thanks. I'm Dave Young from CryptoCoin.News. This was ICO Interview with David Polchich from Robotina. Please subscribe to hear more interviews. Stay current, stay valid, stay tuned. Till next time.